guide in this video. This is Systems of Equations series video number one, and this is an introduction. We have some directions here, but let's talk about a system of equations. A system of equations, here's an example right here. We have two equations and we have two variables, an X and a Y. We have another example of a system of equations over here where we have two equations and two unknowns, a X and a Y again. Now, way down in this series, we'll get to even more equations, such as three equations and three unknowns, but I'm going to build up to that, and we have a lot to learn before we can actually solve those. As a matter of fact, we're not really going to solve anything in this video. If you look at the directions here, it says determine if 3 comma negative 2 is a solution to the following systems of equations. Now, this 3 negative 2, this is actually referring to a ordered pair x comma y so right now I'm saying okay x is 3 and y is negative 2 we want to determine if 3 comma negative 2 is a solution to this system of equations and all we have to do is take the 3 plug it into our x's take the negative 2 plug it into our y's because that is a x comma y and let's see if it works so this first equation here, 3x, that's going to be 3 times our x value of 3. We are plugging 3 in right there. So 3 times 3, subtract 2 times y, where our y value is negative 2. So plugging that in, and we want to see if this is equal to 13. Well, if we work this out, 3 times 3 is 9. And then I think of this as a negative 2 times a negative 2, that's positive 4, and 9 plus 4 does give us 13. Therefore, it does work for the first one. However, that does not make this a solution, because we have to make sure it works for both of them. So let's come to this second equation here. We have x plus 7 times y. We know that x is 3, and we know that y is is a negative 2. So let's plug in the 3 and the negative 2. So we have x, which is 3, plus 7 times our y, which we said was negative 2. And let's see if this gives us 17. Does this equal 17? That's the question. Well, you have to be careful with your signs here. This is actually going to be 3 minus 14, because we have a positive 7 times a negative 2. Watch your signs there, and 3 minus 14 does not give us 17. Therefore, since this ordered pair did not work for both equations, this is not a solution. And when I say no, I am saying that 3 comma negative 2 is not a solution to this system of equations. Now let's take that same concept, and let's come over here and see if this one works. Negative 2 times x. Well, that's going to be negative 2 times that x value of 3. So negative 2 times 3 plus 3 times y. So that's going to be plus 3 times our y value of negative 2. And let's see if this gives us negative 12. Negative 2 times 3, that's negative 6. 3 times a negative 2, that's another negative 6. And negative 6 minus 6 right here, that does give us negative 12. So now let's bear in mind it has to work for the second equation as well. 4 times x, so we're taking 4 times 3, minus, bringing that on down, and then we have that y. Remember, y is negative 2. So I'm going to write that negative 2. This is 4x minus y. 4 times 3 minus a negative 2. A lot of people overlook that right there. And does this equal 14? Well, let's work it out. 4 times 3 is 12. Two negatives right beside each other, that becomes a positive. And 12 plus 2 does give us 14. So therefore, we can say, yes, this ordered pair, 3 comma negative 2, is a solution to this system of equations over here in green. Now, this is an introduction. Our ultimate goal throughout this series is to actually find this. So if you were to have this system of equations right here, your goal would be to actually find this ordered pair that satisfies both of these equations. And those techniques, maybe you have heard of them. We can uh, do substitution. We can do elimination. We can do graphing. There are many techniques we can use to solve a system of equations. 
But for now, I wanted to give you an introduction to show you what we're going to be doing. And again, that is our ultimate goal is to figure this out on our own. And there you have it, video number one to the System of Equations video series. This is the introduction, the basic stuff, just to get you to wrap your head around what a system of equations is. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.